guys, you're back with Jazzy Evo X. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video onto my YouTube channel. And we here in Brisbane, Australia have had heaps of issues with flooding. So we had a sort of one in 10 year massive flood in Brisbane, which uh, caused a lot of issues for people, including um, our close friends. We basically had to have uh, a couple and their three dogs staying with us and in this garage for about 10 days um, we had uh, just that three dogs in here no ability for me to uh, clean or drive or work on the cars etc so in the end it wasn't so bad anyway because only today has my new package for vivo 10 arrived now, if you have a look on my YouTube channel, you'll see that I've got a video already that tells you how to remove the OEM EVO 10 wing. A very brief summary of that is that you use a trim, remo trim removal tool to pop this up, and then you use a 10 mil socket to undo the bolt that's underneath it, and then there's two bolts on the underside, uh, which I believe are tens as well. But if you're wanting to find out how to remove your wing or replace your wing, go ahead and search in my history of videos and check that out before having a look at the rest of this video. So what I've bought today is through uh, AK Racing. So the website is www.akracing.com.au. Uh, Alan and Keith are my go-to guys to get Evo 10 parts here in Australia. And I reached out to Alan and said, look, I'd like to get a, uh, a carbon wing, different to OEM of course, but I didn't really wanna have a wing that was wider than the body. So there's the 200, the 500, and the 700. Now the 200 is the only one that has proportions where the span or the width of the actual wing itself is within the body lines of a car and by that I mean when you stand behind the car you can see that the wing is within the body now depending on where you live in the world that can be something that uh, affects your decision on the legalities of installing the wing here in Australia the rules are that the wing can't protrude past the body line so it also has to have round corners so like the OEM wing does and it also has to have a minimum thickness of all parts of four millimeters for the body parts itself. But, uh, today's video is going to be an unbox of this uh, APR GTC 200 wing, which is what that box is there, which should include all of the necessary hardware. So the, you know, the bolts and nuts, washers, etc. And, uh, not sure if you've seen this before, but the GTC 200 wing, unfortunately, uh, does sit pretty low. In fact, it's, I think, about the same height as the OEM wing. Now, the issue with that is that you don't generate a lot of downforce when the wing is too low. And so that's one thing that really about the OEM wing uh, I probably don't like. I do love the look of the OEM wing and it obviously suits the Evo 10 really well. But because I'm wanting to do some motor car work and who doesn't love APR carbon fiber parts? Okay guys, so I simply just opened up the end of this box. Inside there was the typical white APR box and I remember when I bought the carbon cooling panel that it was in a nice white box inside as well. As well as inside that box, there was this hardware box, which includes the base plates for the Evo X, um, the cool wing stands, stands, instructions, hardware, and the wing itself. It's actually not uh, heavy as well. It's quite surprising, so I look forward to um, seeing how much it weighs and then in this box which was the risers you'll see here that it says riser for the Evo and WRX GTC 200 
2.5 inch risers. Um, just in case you're wanting to know, this is the part number for the GTC 200 wing for the Evo X. So as I was saying, so AS105940. So as I was saying, uh, it comes with the um, stands that are the same shape as the base of the Evo 10 uh, stand or stands. And so, yeah, that's what's great about this. They have got it um, perfect, so it's meant for this application. All right, so um, these are wrapped in this foam. Then they're wrapped in paper. It just goes to show you the effort they put into packaging. So let's have a look. We've got some rubber stands, uh, rubber sort of, what would you call that? Insulators, I guess, to go underneath the stands. Look at how good that is. Real nice, really nicely rounded off. Can't wait to confirm the fit for those. I'm sure they're gonna be perfect. So let's see here. Oh yeah, so here in this one, we have um, what I would call the wing end plates. Cool, with the logo. That looks to me like it's full mil, but I'll, I'll get my vernier gears out and um, just do a measurement. All right, so I've unboxed uh, or unwrapped those wing ends. Now here's what I really like about the GTC 200. So um, these are adjustable so that you can adjust the uh, the height of the rear of the wing and um, yeah really good finish all right so there it all is the bolts the instructions not too hard to put together warranty card and oh great talks about aerodynamics and how these parts come into play nice all right let's now unwrap the wing and take a look it was really well wrapped had to cut through all this bubble wrap that was taped a bit crazily on the ends but so long as this opens and unravels without any cracks or damage then I'll be happy cool so happy to report there's no damage whatsoever so you can see the curvature of the blade there really nice just gonna be careful with this it's got these in there of course so that it can be tightened in so great, I'm going to start assembling it now as per the instructions and let's see how it turns out. Guys, so I've removed the Evo 10 OEM wing and you can check that out in my other video. I don't normally remove this part from the boot. It's actually a piece of plastic and I found the easiest way to get it out was to put the trim removal tool sort of fork underneath and lift it up that by itself though wasn't enough because it is a pretty uh, strong plastic part to get out it's a hard plastic piece it's not rubber um, i used a flathead and just sort of uh, w moved it forward and back as i used the plastic trimmer tool underneath and it came out so just to give you a look at what that part looks like so go ahead and remove the one from that side and then you'll have a perfectly flat base that you can install the rubber seal 
and carbon fiber base plate onto. All right, so as you can see, I've removed that plastic part. So the order of assembly says to put the rubber gasket here. So you've got your free holes covering these from underneath. They then say to put the carbon base plate on top. Now, this is a threaded, threaded hole from factory, and then these two are not. So OEM, just like OEM, you put two bolts on this outer portion, and then one goes down. Now, when you buy the wing by itself, it just comes with a stand like that, which is pretty low. So that's why I've bought these risers, and I'll show you what that looks like assembled in a second. All right, so this is the one that goes down into the boot, and it's 28 mils long from top to the top of the head, and as I thought, it's actually an M6. So just to show you, if you don't know how verniers work, bit hard of one hand, but yeah, it's a M6 bolt by 28 millimeters long from the top of the cap. About 28? Yeah, about, about 28 to 29. Um, same thing goes for the bolts. Now I know that they're M6 in the factory location. So yeah, it's M6 for this one. Um, All right, so luckily I have uh, some of these in stock already. So as you can see, I've got M6 ones here. So I'll start, or we'll be able to start replacing these. See how they look with the um, hex top. If I don't really like it, I can change to a button top. But that's the plan for now, just to try and get an idea of what it looks like assembled. All right, guys, so I'm just going to pause to show you what I my thoughts are of this uh, setup that they use. So the easiest way to go about putting this in is to thread the stud into the riser all the way to the base first, and then put the whole thing through this way. Then you can actually use the washer and you can tighten the nylon nut because as you turn it, it can't wind undone because it's still tightening on that side. The only thing uh, I'm going to do though, is I'm just to have an added layer of um, protection of the wing coming off, is I'm actually going to use a tiny dab of Loctite on that, um, on both of those studs as well. So I'll resume once I've done that. Got the rubber mat, the carbon fiber base plate, the three bolts to bolt it to the boot. One goes down, two go up, just like factory. You've got the 2.5 inch riser. Then we've got one, two, three M6 bolts to bolt the riser to the lower part of the wing stand. Then the wing stand has an upper bracket here and that upper bracket is bolted to the wing stand and this adjustable rod by the M8 by 24 mil bolts. So there's one, two, three bolts and the corresponding one, two, three nylon nuts. This uh, rod here uh, is, I guess you could say, it's kind of like a splitter rod that you'd have on the front of your um, front bumper if you're running a lip with a splitter rod. It basically just adjusts by turning this left or right, and as you turn it, the pitch of the uh, blade, or they call it a, a foil, the wing foil, um, uh, tilts up and down. Then from this upper bracket, to the bottom of the wing blade, there's these um, metal uh, 
threaded inserts. And what I found on this wing is that on this right side, the holes were perfectly straight, but very visibly on this left side, instead of sitting straight, they were actually like this. So that caused me um, headaches last night for about half an hour trying to get the wing to install properly. And I'd seen some posts recently about people saying to um, install the stands to the wing. So basically you turn it upside down, put it on, the, on a carpet or something, install those and then install it down. But what I found easiest to do was to simply install the base plate and the lowest stands, but then have these three bolts loose so it had some play and then that helped me to get it in but i couldn't just put the blade down on this upper bracket so what i ended up doing was i put the upper i, I put the wing upside down on the floor i installed this upper bracket and then i carried the wing over and i actually used these three as the um, leveraging points to make it fit so unfortunately, um, that did make it harder to install, but it wasn't impossible. So really I had to um, push in, I had to end up using this point here uh, to sort of wedge the bolt in. I, it was most difficult to line up this bolt in the end. And I found that if I did it the complete opposite way and just tried to line these screws up by putting the blade down, yeah, it was just way too hard and um, I was really worried about ending up damaging the wing, particularly getting some cracks because um, it was just under too much pressure when everything else was in place. Um, so last thing I did was I uh, put these wing end plates in. So these just use M6 um, bolts. There's nothing fancy about that. I did a measurement of this and it's 4 mil, if not 3.9, but 4 mil, it's thick enough. And so as you can see, it's got the rounded edges. So in Australia, it's not going to be an issue. So I'll just stand over here to give you guys an idea. So as you can see, the wing end plate is above this hip line, this white hip line that goes there so it doesn't protrude past the car. And then of course, when you stand over here, it's right at the rear bumper. It's feel very solid. Um, things to look out for when you buy some sort of no-name rep branded wing is that these base plates are never flat on no-namers and so when you don't have a stable base then yeah you you're taking a risk of it coming off also this um, wing foil blade is incredibly light but it is strong it's got no flex to it at all as you can imagine some wings you see actually flex and there's a whole bunch of videos online where this part actually snaps from the downforce. So yeah, when I picked it up, it was really light. I did not actually stand on the on the weight scales. Believe it or not, a lot of you will be shaking your head going, Juzzy, you didn't weigh something. You are the king of weight loss for the Evo 10 as a private owner, I guess. But yeah, it's pretty light. And when you lift the uh, boot, It, it feels a bit lighter than what it would um, with the OEM wing. So I just wanted to show you guys this as well. So when you open the boot, it does not foul. As you can see here, it's got plenty of room. It doesn't foul in any way. So you've got full leverage of the boot. That's something I just could not um, see, which made me wonder when you've got the risers on. 
if there was any issue at all. So therefore, it wouldn't have an issue as well if you just bought a GTC 200 and did not have the risers because it would be closer to the boot. Um, so these um, threaded inserts, you use the Allen key to tighten those in so that it goes right up to the top of the uh, riser. And yeah, I put the um, thread lock, a tiny dab of the thread lock on the bottom of every bolt. So yeah, pretty sturdy. Um, open and close the boot fine, there's no rattles. Yeah, so really happy with it. So I guess to summarize now, I'll, I'll take the car out and um, just do some quick photos to show you. I'd just like to say a very special thank you to um, Alan at AK Racing. Uh, here's my hookup for these um, parts for the Evo 10 and he definitely took care of me. If you're interested in buying an APR wing, get in touch with those guys. They can do the install as well as just sourcing or just getting it shipped to you um, at a really good price, really competitive. Um, and yeah, just shoot them a message on their website and the guys will get back to you and just see what it looks like from the inside. So pretty sick. Um, still got vision out the back. <laughs> um, I guess more than anything, it's a little bit better than factory because the thickness of the stands on the OEM wing, um, they're just all gone now because you've just got um, the aluminium stands on this a APR wing. So even even soon better, in one week's time, I'll be able to get rid of my son's booster seat because he'll be seven years old. Can't wait for that. There'll be a special video coming when we go for a drive together. Him in the front seat, father and son. JE Designs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, and I guess I will see you in the next video when I do the installation of the carbon Ganador mirrors for the Evo 10. Okay, so lucky I get her east time. I get her east time. I wonder why. Tell me what you see when you look in my eyes. Smile on my face, but I see the disguise. I just look to the sky, reminiscing about decisions and my people who died. I would give it all away if I can rewind time. Lesson learned through the dark, and I'ma keep my shine. I've been looking for the sign. If you looking for me, I've been looking for me. Pain deeper than the ocean, feel like I'm drowning. Keep it running, or just keep that shit around me. I keep texts for them niggas trying to foul me. You was the best, always wanted you around me. I fucked up, can make it up if you allow me. Pain in my chest, feel like my demons surrounding me. Dirty money, I'ma have to wash it clean. I've been trying to put down the lean. Turn my phone on, streets calling me. This for the ones who is doubting me. Fuck, congratulations, I just need apologies.